Mass is being offered for the repose of the souls of Jack and Barbara O'Day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, be with you. We acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. from the Acts of the Apostles. As Peter reached the house, Cornelius went out to meet him, knelt at his feet and prostrated himself. But Peter helped him up. Stand up, he said. I am only a man after all. Then Peter addressed them. The truth I have now come to realize, he said, is that God does not have favorites, but that anybody of any nationality who fears God and does what is right, is acceptable to him. While Peter was speaking, the Holy Spirit came down on all the listeners. Jewish believers who had accompanied Peter were all astonished that the gift of the Holy Spirit should be poured out on the pagans too, since they could hear them speak in strange languages and proclaiming the greatness of God. Peter himself then said, could anyone refuse the water of baptism to these people, now they have received the Holy Spirit, just as much as we have? He then gave orders for them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Afterwards, they begged him to stay on for some days. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Ring out your joy. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My dear people, let us love one another, since love comes from God. 
and everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Anyone who fails to love can never have known God, because God is love. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only Son, so that we could have life through him. This is the love I mean, not our love for God, but God's love for us when he sent his Son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus said, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you, and your joy be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants anymore, because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my Father. You did not choose me. No, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. I was visiting an old couple in another parish some years ago, um, both very elderly and quite hard of hearing, and the telephone rang and uh, she answered it, and I could only hear her side of the conversation, of course. Uh, but it was clearly one of her children. I, I think there were three or four sons and a couple of daughters. Anyway, uh, eventually, because she was hard of hearing, she said, but who is this? And clearly, clearly he had said, your favorite son. And she said, oh, I know that, darling, but which favorite son? <laughs> God chose the Jewish people to be a special people, to be that repository of of knowledge of one God and of a loving God and um, he chose them then to be the repository of the continuing revelation of, of himself so that they would be the place where his son could become incarnate and yet it seems to me to be clear from the Jewish scriptures the Old Testament that salvation was always always to come through the Jews but to be for the whole world and yet they seem to have lost sight of that. And even the apostles, even the apostles who have walked with Jesus and talked with Jesus and, and heard all that Jesus had to say took a long time to understand it. And we see that in our passage from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, that, that specially chosen apostle. The truth I have now come to realize is that God does not have favorites, but that anybody of any nationality who fears God and does what is right is acceptable to him. Now this was perfectly logical from everything Jesus had said and done that all God had revealed and yet this was, was revolutionary talk to the Jewish people because they thought they were the only special favorite children. Well they were the special favorite children but among a great many others. It reminds me of another, another little story. Some of you, some of the older of you will remember the Don Camillo books and the Don Camillo films set in uh, late 40s in Italy when, when there was a real danger, a serious danger of Italy voting in the communists because the economy was so poor. And in the little village was Don Camillo, the parish priest, the communist mayor, who was an old school friend of his, Anyway, Don Camillo would come into the church every day and, and tell, speak to the Lord on the cross 
hanging in the church, and, and the Lord would often speak back to him. Anyway, there was going to be a big communist rally, and Don Camilla got the idea that he'd get his own church bell ringer and all of the other churches around to ring the bell so loudly that the communist leaders couldn't be heard, and he thought this was a great idea. And, and, and Jesus speaks to him from the cross and says, oh, that's a very clever idea, Don Camillo. So very pleased, Don Camillo gets up to go out and put this in place. And Jesus says, but don't forget, Don Camillo, I suffered and died for the communists as well. And of course, Don Camillo then slinks off. And the, the stories always end with Don Camillo and the communist mayor having a glass of wine in the evening. But he never forgot that Jesus suffered and died for the communists as well. Now, that is what Jesus is getting at in, in, in this long discourse um, in, in St. John about loving one another. We, of necessity, have to love some people sometimes in a special way. Our parents, our children, our, our, you know, our husbands, our wives. Uh, you know, love can't be the same everywhere and at all times. Uh, it has to be specially directed and specially chosen sometimes. But what he's, what he's asking us to do, what he's asking us to do is to let our love, uh, he's asking us to strive to let our love grow beyond that circle. And, and, and if it is in slightly diminishing circles, well, so be it. But it needs to be. We need to strive to make it for all of them, even our enemies, even the communists, even whoever it might be. Now, I, I know very well that, you know, this is easy to say. Um, it's, it's easy to talk about love. It is not easy to love the, you know, the neighbor from hell. It is not easy to love the discourteous driver. It is not easy to love all sorts of people. And yet that is what Jesus is asking his disciples, particularly here, but also all of us, to begin to learn to do. Not easy, but we have the example. We have the example of, of God loving all of these people, not having any favors, loving anyone from any nationality who is striving to lead a good life. And so we too try to learn to love. We have the Mass, we have the sacraments to help us along with that, and we have our, our, our own prayers and, and the confessional when we fail, as we so often do. Um, I chose, you did not choose me, no, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. What I command you is to love one another. And now let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God has proclaimed and shown his love for us. His grace is unlimited. So in love and trust, we bring our prayers before him. We pray for all those in the church whose task is to lead us, that their leadership, commitment, and friendship may reflect the wisdom and loving care of Jesus. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those areas of the world where there is conflict. We pray for decision makers that they may be guided to make just and peaceful solutions to the problems of our world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our families, friends, and parish community, that we may be open to the power of God's Spirit in all we do. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
We pray for those who are suffering in any way. May God's love comfort them and give them strength. We pray too for all those who support and provide care to those in need. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. As we com commemorate the anniversary of VE Day this weekend, we pray for all who sacrifice their lives during times of war, for our freedom. May they rest in the Lord's peace forever. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for a few moments in silence for our own needs and intentions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We make our prayer with Mary, Mother of the Lord, as we say. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed Bless art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son, Jesus, to teach us the ways of love and peace. We ask you to hear the prayers that we offer through that same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself, to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and joy may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Jack and Barbara, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they, who are united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Thursday is the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord. Um, it's a holy day, of course, but like Sundays, the obligation is su still suspended. Um, but anyway, uh, Masses will all be live-streamed, and, and because it is a special day, we'll have extra Masses for the Feast. So there'll be a Mass here at St. Wilfred's at 6.30 Wednesday evening. On Thursday morning, there will be a Mass at 9.15 at St. Wilfred's, 9.30 at St. Edward's in Kemer, and 11 o'clock at St. George's Retreat. For those of you who use the loop system who may not be able to hear me tell you this now, but the machine has been repaired and should be reinstalled this week, so I'm presumably ready for next Sunday. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.